So in this lecture, I want to show you the inner workings of an autoscaling group. And so behind the scenes, autoscaling group, they have scaling processes. The first one is obvious. The first scaling process is called launch. And what launch does is that it helps to launch new EC2 into the group and increasing the capacity. We also have terminates. So the scaling process in terminates in the ASG will remove EC2 instances from the group, then decreasing its capacity. Health check in the ASG is what performs health checks on the instances. Replace unhealthy is a scaling process that will terminate unhealthy instances and then we can recreate them. Then there is AZ rebalance to balance the number of EC2 instances across all the AZ. We have alarm notification to accept notification from CloudWatch. Scheduled action, basically to perform scheduled action on our behalf and add to load balancer to register new instances into our load balancer. So all these things, why am I talking to you about them? Well, because we can suspend these processes. So we can just say, you cannot terminate instances anymore. And so we're going to play with those and I wanna show you how important they are. What you need to remember is definitely the first five. So launch, terminate, health check, replace unhealthy and AZ rebalance. These are five very common scaling processes. So in this lecture, we're going to play with them. And at the end, I'm going to give you more information about AZ rebalance. So you may be wondering how we set these suspend actions. So in my ASG, I'm going to click on edit and then all the way to the bottom, there is a suspend processes. And so this checkbox we've never seen before, but we're seeing it now. So in there, we're able to suspend some processes. And so we can suspend whatever we want, all the things I told you about before. So let's for fun, suspend terminates. So here by suspending the process terminates, we're saying to our ASG that it cannot terminate any EC2 instance. Click on save. And obviously here, nothing has changed. But now what I'm going to do is set the desired capacity to two. So let's go and set the desired capacity to two, the min capacity to zero. I don't know why it didn't stick. And so here, desired capacity two, min zero, max three. And so usually when we do this, it should terminate an instance for me. But because we have suspended the process terminate, nothing should happen. So let's have a look. Now, as you can see in my SG, there are three instances and two desired. But if we go to the instance, they're all healthy and nothing's happening. If we go to the activity history, there's nothing happening. I'll just wait five minutes to prove it to you. Okay, so it's been five minutes and nothing happened. No activity history and three of my instances are still there. The reason is because we suspend the processes terminate, our ASG will not terminate our instances whatsoever. And so this could be really helpful in case of troubleshooting. Now to prove that things should be working when you don't suspend the processes, I'm going to remove the terminate in suspend processes, click on save. And now my instance should be terminated automatically because I'm allowing my ASG to terminate my instances. So let's go to activity history and wait just a little bit. And now here we go. As you can see, the activity history says that they're starting to terminate an EC2 instance because the capacity has changed by one. And so we need to terminate one. So this is really cool to see how these suspend processes work because it really shows you how you can modularize your um, ASG and really control how it works. Let's do another fun one. Let's play with replace unhealthy. So now I'm going to go ahead in my suspend processes and I'm going to suspend replace unhealthy. So this process, as remembered, basically replaces unhealthy instances. So if I suspend it, then unhealthy instances will not be replaced and we can troubleshoot what's going on in them. So click on save and now replace unhealthy is chosen. So let's go back to our instances. We have two instances healthy, one is being terminated. And so what I want to do is make one of these unhealthy. So for this, there's a really cool way of doing it. There's a CLI called set instance health for ASG. And so if you look at this CLI command, basically we can set the instant health of any of our instance. So let's play with it. For it, we have to use the instance ID and the health status. So let's have a look. My instance ID is right here. So let's do it. AWS auto scaling set instant health instance ID. And then we have to paste in this instance ID. For example, if that's the one we want to make, uh, we want to uh, basically make unhealthy. Here we go. And then I will say, let's, let's remember what the flag is, health status and then the value. And the value of health status can be either healthy or unhealthy. So let's set instance to set the status to unhealthy. Here we go. Press enter. And no output. But if we go back to our uh, little instances and refresh, now the health status 
of this one became unhealthy. How cool is that? So using the CLI, new thing you, should, you just learned, you can set instances healthy or unhealthy. But because my suspend processes replace unhealthy is there, nothing will happen. This instance just remain unhealthy, but it will not get terminated. And so again, that's when you suspend a process, something that happens. Again, if I go to details instead, and now don't suspend that process anymore, it should start replacing my unhealthy instances. So let's just wait a little bit, go to activity history, and know in a few seconds, it should start being terminated. And so as you can see now, in the activity history, it's saying terminating this instance, and it's waiting for the ELB connection draining. And it says it was taken out of service because of a user health check. So because we manually set the health status to being unhealthy. And so that's really cool. Now uh, the instance will get terminated eventually and a new instance will get launched right away. So really, really nice. So remember these suspend processes, you should know them, especially the launch, terminate, health check, replace unhealthy and AZ rebalance. And I just want to talk to you about AZ rebalance right now. So the AZ rebalance is when there is an imbalance in our AZ spread. For example, one availability zone has five instances, another one has one and another one has zero. This is imbalance and so it's going to rebalance to put two instances everywhere. And so this AZ rebalance ASG scaling policy or action is basically going to launch new instances and then terminate the old instances. So it's going to rebalance stuff by launching new instances at first. And so if we suspend that launch process, basically it's going to impact how AZ rebalance works. So if we suspend the launch process, that means that our ASG cannot launch any new instances then the AZ rebalance won't launch new instances. And because it's not able to launch instances, it won't terminate instances either. So we basically re render AZ rebalance useless. If we suspend the terminate process, that means if we forbid AZ rebalance to do this rebalance, then it's still going to launch instances. Actually, the ASG can grow up to 10% of its size. Okay, it's allowed during rebalances. So even if you have a desired capacity of 10, it's allowed to go to 11 because it's allowed to grow by 10% during an AZ rebalance, but then it will remain at this increased capacity because it can't terminate instances. And that's quite a popular exam question as well. So it's something you have to remember. Basically, if you can't terminate instances and the AZ rebalances happen, it's going to run at over capacity, at 10% over the capacity. Just remember that number. This is something quite important. And so this is what's important to, to understand is that all these scaling policies can impact each other and AZ rebalance is impacted by the launch process and the terminate process. So just as a summary, again, remember all these scaling processes and you can suspend them, launch, terminate, health check, replace unhealthy and AZ rebalance are by far the most important for you to remember. I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next lecture.